Today we're going to have a little bit of fun with Google SketchUp. So the first step is obviously to start SketchUp. I don't have it on my desktop, but you probably do. I need to go into my program menu. You've probably noticed that where you have a little guy, I have a little girl. That's just because uh, I have a newer version of SketchUp. It doesn't really change anything. In fact, the first thing I'm going to do is click on her and press the, 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 uh, the delete key on the keyboard. There she goes. Okay, to make things easier for what I want to do, I'm going to change the view that I have. So I'm going to go up to Camera, Standard Views, and Top. So we're going to be looking from the top down. Okay. And all we're going to do is we're going to take the shapes that we have at our disposal and we're going to spell our names. So I'm going to use mostly rectangles. I might even switch to a circle right here. Okay, and that's my uh, attempt to make the word Mister, uh, just using sort of rectangles and circles. I'm going to take my eraser. I'm going to erase all these little lines that are dividing my shapes um, into different shapes, so that I only have single shapes. And the reason why I do that is because my next step. I'm going to get a little bit of a sort of a, of a more side view. I'm going to take my push pull tool and I'm going to raise my letters off the ground to make them 3D. Okay. If I were to go back when I had these lines and I were to try and pull, I would be pulling individual pieces. So, I'm going to erase those lines to join these these different shapes together to make single shapes. I want to point a couple of things out while I'm going. Uh, first of all, I don't have to use the rectangle tool. Um, it's come time for me to make the A in my last name, and I realize that using the pen tool, or the line tool, as it's actually called, would be a lot easier. So I'm going to grab the line tool. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I'm just going to use a line tool to make straight lines. to form an A. Okay? It's very important that that last one that I just did connects with the first one. Once it connects, you see that a face um, emerges. And now I'm just going to get this little inside part. Okay. Get my select tool. Select that little inside part and press the delete key on the keyboard. There you go. Another option uh, that you have is this thing called the arc tool to make curves. It's a little bit tricky uh, and hard to get used to, but you might want to try it for some of the curvier letters. The way it works is you, you click once, you make a straight line, you click a second time, and then when you move the mouse, you can make a, a curve. When I, click, when I click the final time, that actually makes the curve um, final. And now I've realized that I need another M, but there really is no need for me to, to go ahead and make another M. I'm just going to copy the one I already have. Um, and that's actually pretty easy to do. I'm going to grab my select tool and I'm going to select just the M. I need to get the entire M inside of my little select box. The little blue dots tell me that I've selected it. Now what I'm going to do is go up here to the move tool. I'm going to click the move tool. Except I don't want to move the M, I want to copy it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the control key on the keyboard one time. And when I do that you see a little plus sign comes up and that means that I'm not moving anymore I'm actually going to drag a copy off of it so I'm going to grab this and I'm going to try and move it straight over okay just like that okay. and of course my next letter is another E okay, announcements. and I'll be right back 
Okay, so I've got my entire name spelled out uh, with the letters. doesn't look great. Um, I, I sort of whizzed through it to get, to get it done quickly, but I think you should take a little bit more time and make it as nice and neat as you can. Um, one of the other things that I've done is I've gone through and erased all the lines that were um, separating the different parts of letters. I see I missed one down here in my E, so I'm going to erase that line. I want to point out um, one more time that if you make a mistake, like I just did, it's no problem. You can go up to Edit and Undo, or you can press down the Control key, and while you're holding down the Control key, you can press Z, and that's Undo. I always, I'll keep saying it. Undo is my best friend when I'm using SketchUp. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, I'm going to extrude my letters. That's sort of a fancy name for pulling them out into 3D space. So I'm going to take my push pull tool and I'm going to pull them all up. I'm going to mention one thing. A lot of I've noticed a lot of students like to come through and while they're pushing and pulling, they're holding the button down. You'll actually have a lot better luck if you just click and let go. And then I can pull my letters. And what I can do is I can take my mouse and I can line it up on the other side of that M. And what I'm doing is I'm telling SketchUp that I want that part to be the same height as that one. And I guess I definitely missed um, one of my lines. I think it was hidden by the, the green axis. So let me go ahead and erase that real quick. I had pressed Control Z, erase that, and now I'll extrude my R one more time. So I'm going to click and let go. And I'm going to bring my mouse over here to the M, and I'm saying I want it to be the same height as that. And I click again to finalize it. I'm going to do that for all of my letters, so that they're, they're all the same height. I'm going to go ahead and pause so that you don't have to watch me do this, uh, this whole step. Okay, I've got my uh, whole name extruded now. And I'm going to do a couple more things before I'm finished. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get this nice sort of view head-on of my last letter, and I'm going to rotate this thing. So I'm going to take the um, Select tool, and I'm going to select all of my letters like this. And you can see that I have them all. Now I'm going to go to the Rotate tool, which is going to end up looking a lot like the Protractor tool, but it's very different. And I'm going to come to the middle of my letter. I'm going to click and let go one time. That locks down the Rotate tool. I'm going to come straight out. Doesn't matter how far. Click and let go again. And now when I move the mouse up or down, you'll see that I am rotating those letters around the uh, the point. So I'm just going to sort of tilt them upwards. And that should be good. I'm going to click one final time to finalize my rotation. Now I'm going to click my select tool. I'm going to click somewhere else just to unselect my letters. And you see now my letters are looks as though they're sort of facing the sky. My final step is I'm going to take my paint can or my materials tool. And I'm just going to paint each letter uh, with a different material just to make it look kind of cool. Okay. I have all kinds of, of options available to me. So maybe for the M I'll get some of this concrete. Now the trick is I need to get every single surface on the M. That includes the bottoms, up in here, the side, when I rotate or orbit around, I can't forget that side. Need to make sure I get the top. all these little nooks and crannies. Of course the back and I think I should just have one more this side right there. Maybe for my R I decide I want to have something a little crazy like maybe I want to have the R made out of water.
I'm going to do the whole R. Now I want to point out one quick thing. This little eyedropper right here is really cool. If I, I need to go back to a color or a material I've already used, I can take a little eyedropper, come over to the stone, and if I click on the stone, it's going to automatically select that material for me again so that I could use it again if I needed to. I'm going to pause real quick and finish painting all of my letters, and I'll be right back. Okay, I've colored all my letters. As you can see, each one has a different, um, different paint job. I'm going to be very careful when I start moving, orbiting around, that I've gotten all my surfaces. And I see right there that I missed the top of my first E. So like I told you, you take this little dropper, click on some other part of the E. That automatically selects the brick that I was using. And I can get that top part real easily. I'm going to keep rotating around. And notice that I missed the uh, bottom part of my R. No problem. Grab the color picker. Get that water selected. Oops, that was a mistake. So I'm going to press Control Z. Going to get that water selected. Get the bottom of the R. And you can see that my computer is moving very slow because um, I'm recording. Be very careful that you get every single surface. I'm going to take off major points if um, some surfaces are not painted. So be very careful about that. Um, the last thing that you can do to personalize this is I'm going to open up a window called Styles. And Styles is exactly what it sounds like. There are a lot of different styles that you can use uh, to make this your own. I like playing around with them. You can see that was probably not a good style for me to pick because it sort of um, got rid of all of my colors. And you can see that there's all kinds of different styles I can choose. Some of them change the background color, some of them change the way the lines look. Um, it's up to you. But play around, have some fun, and nice work.